Mr. President, I rise to join my colleagues in honoring those who have helped their communities to overcome challenges during the COVID-19 pandemic. There are many everyday heroes who deserve recognition. We've seen the efforts of our first responders, law enforcement, teachers, postal and delivery employees, and store workers, among others, who've continued providing essential services in spite of the challenges brought on by the coronavirus. As chairman of the Senate Ag Appropriates Committee, I've spoken many times with the crit about the critically important work of our farmers and our ranchers. And I see I'm joined here on the floor by our Ag Committee chairman, and I know he has been down here uh, as well, pointing out how our farmers and ranchers are continuing to provide food, fuel, and fiber for our nation even during this pandemic. And uh, we are working to help and support them during this challenging time. But every American benefits every day from the work of those farmers and ranchers who provide the highest quality, lowest cost food supply in the world in tough times uh, and even in times when we face something like a pandemic. Today, uh, I'd like to recognize the valiant efforts of our healthcare professionals in my state and across this country and highlight uh, some of the work that our North Dakotans are doing, uh, whether they're doctors, nurses, uh, and many others working in hospitals and clinics across our state. North Dakota's health care professionals have been working around the clock to prevent the spread of this virus and treat those affected by COVID-19. One example is Dr. Chris Pribula, a graduate of the University of North Dakota Medical School, who worked with a team to set up the COVID care unit at Sanford Hospital in Fargo. He was on duty when the first COVID patient arrived at the hospital and remained on duty for the next 18 days straight to make sure that staff and patients had everything that they need. Over the past several months, I've held a number of roundtables with healthcare professionals in North Dakota. And as we've discussed issues and challenges, one thing is clear. Our healthcare providers are diligent and dedicated in their efforts to pre prepare for and prevent the spread of coronavirus and to provide patients with the best possible care. Another individual highlighted by his colleagues is Dr. Kremens, a critical care physician at Essentia Health who intubated and managed multiple critically ill patients at once. Dr. Kremens is a good example of the many intensive care and emergency department physicians and nurses who have fought on the front lines of the pandemic and continue to do so. We're grateful for the dedicated service of the many healthcare professionals in North Dakota and recognize that they and their loved ones have made many sacrifices during this health emergency. We've worked to provide our health providers with much needed support in the first three phases of the coronavirus relief legislation. For example, under the CARES Act, North Dakota rural hospitals and providers have received $135 million to help with their efforts to combat COVID-19. As negotiations continue on the next phase of relief, health care remains a top priority. While our health care providers have been working diligently, I would also like to recognize how members of the community, from our communities, have stepped up uh, to help uh, our medical professionals as well. An example of the community stepping up to meet the challenge during the pandemic is Proof Artesian Distillers, a small craft distillery in Fargo, North Dakota. Back in March, Proof Artesian Distillery responded to the community uh, to the community needs. Working with Thorlson Ethanol in Castleton, North Dakota, they began producing sanitizer for healthcare assisted living facilities, first responders, tribal and municipal entities, and highway patrols from four neighboring states. Proof, Ar Proof Artisan Distillery President Joel Kath relayed this story. Quote, during our second day of production, I answered a frantic call from a supply director of a large memory care group. They were virtually out of sanitizer and would not be resupplied through their normal channels for many weeks. The caller broke down with emotion when I confirmed that we could easily supply their needs. It's a response I will never forget and a constant reminder of the importance of our task at hand." End quote. Another example from my home state is Infinite Leap, a company founded by Air Force veteran Mark Roll, that is using technology to help healthcare providers offer virtual waiting rooms. 
Infinite Leaps technology helps eliminate registration lines, reduce congestion in waiting areas, and decrease patient waiting times. Not only is this technology being utilized by healthcare providers to help maintain social distancing, the technology is also helping other industries, including restaurants and manufacturing plants, to safely reopen. These are just a few examples of the individuals and organizations who have stepped up and helped their communities to meet the challenges during this health emergency. Again, I want to thank our health care providers for their dedicated effort to fight this virus. We recognize the challenges they face, and we are truly grateful for their hard work. They are, in fact, truly everyday heroes. With that, uh, Mr. President, I yield the floor.